Hey there, fellow streamers. Welcome to the channel dedicated to helping you supercharge your Fire Stick. In today's video guide, we're going to be installing one of the best video streaming apps out there, and also one of my personal favorites, Kodi. I'm also going to show you how to get the fastest, lightest build with a ton of movies and TV shows. Whatever you're looking for, it's got it, so make sure to stick around till the end of the video, and we'll go through how to get the best build out there, all from your Fire Stick. Remember, you can always pause the video if you need more time. First, we're going to head to the home screen of your device and make our way across to the search icon. In the search bar, start typing the word Downloader, and after a couple of letters, it should appear at the top of the list, so go ahead and click on it. Click on the icon, you can't miss it, it's the big orange one with Downloader written on it. While that's downloading, if I could ask that you hit that like and subscribe button, it only takes two seconds, but helps out the channel massively. Before we open up Downloader, we need to enable some hidden settings to make it work. So hit the Home button, make your way across to Settings, and then down to the My Fire TV icon. By default, the developer options are hidden. Just enter the About section and tap on the device name seven times. Hit the Back button and you should now see they have been enabled. Once inside, go ahead and click Install Unknown Apps. You can now go ahead and switch the toggle to On for Downloader. Now that's all done. Head over to your newly installed Downloader app. Open it up, then make your way to the search bar, just like in the video. Once you've clicked the search bar, type in this web address exactly as you see on the screen. Once you're finished typing, click OK and wait for the site to load. Head over to the menu in the top right corner, then scroll down and click Download. Scroll down again and find the Android logo. This is the one we need as our Fire Sticks run on a modified version of the Android operating system. Then go down and find this exact version you see on the screen. It has to be this 32-bit version as the others will not work on your device. Now, while we wait for that to download and install, I should tell you that while Kodi is probably the best media player out there, no media will be available without some extra steps we need to take to download and install the add-on that is going to give us all that streaming goodness. Just follow along with me in the video, and I'll show you how to get the best build out there at the moment, all from within the Kodi app itself. Okay, so now that's all been installed, we can go ahead and click open. Kodi will ask for some permissions and may take a moment to open up. Just click OK and wait until you get to the app's home screen. Now, as you can see, if you scroll around a bit, there's nothing in here apart from a few standard add-ons. Not for long. There's just a few more steps we need to go through first. Make your way to this small cog icon and click on it. This will take us to the settings screen. Once it's open, go ahead and scroll down to the box that says System. Then make your way down to Add-ons. Press across and enable Unknown Sources. Click Yes to the warning. Then press back on your remote to get to the Settings screen. Then make your way to File Manager. Now we're going to scroll down to Add Source and go ahead and click on it. Once this box appears, just go ahead and click the middle button on your remote. Now we need to tell Cody the location of the zip file we are going to need to install the build. Just make sure you type in exactly what you see on the screen, as we need to make sure that Cody can grab that file so it can start the installation a bit later on. I'll keep this section at a slower speed so you can make sure you can follow along. Remember, you can always pause or rewind the video if it's going too fast. Go ahead and press OK once you're finished, then OK again when this box appears. As you can see, the source has now been added to the top of the list. 
Now press back, scroll across to add-ons, then make your way down to the install from zip file option. Click the first one in the list, then go ahead and click on the zip file. You'll know if it's worked, as you will see a notification in the corner of the screen, just like the video. Now move to install from repository and click on it. Head into the digs repository, then scroll down and enter the install program add-on section. There's a big list of stuff in there, but what we want is the 709 wizard, so click on that one. Then click install. Give it a moment to install, then you can close the info notification once it appears. Hit the back button on your remote until you're back at the home screen, then head to the newly installed 709 wizard add-on. Once it's opened up, you can now go and select the build menu. You will see there is an absolute ton of builds in here. However, most of them will require a paid to breed service. But the builds we are looking for use only free sources. So just keep scrolling down, right to the bottom of the list, you will see a handful of builds under the non debris builds heading. Now, as you go through the list, you will see in the description that these builds recommend that you use a VPN. And to be honest, so do I. There's been a lot of news lately about streaming movies and IPTV online, so we would always recommend using a VPN while using these builds. We personally recommend using IP Vanish, and by following the link in the description or in our bio, you can get up to 83% discount and it costs just a couple of dollars a month. So before we carry on with the guide, here's a quick video Did of the benefits. Did you know that your ISP can see all of your streaming activity? While your watch list may not be that interesting, your ISP can also keep track of all of your other online activity. Do you feel like your privacy is invaded now? With IP Vanish, all of your data is encrypted, so your ISP can no longer understand your online activity. Protect your internet privacy today with IP Vanish. Just click the link in the description and register to ensure your privacy. Now I've tested all these builds and the one we want is the Elemicro version 1. It has multiple free links right up to 4K resolution. So click on this one and follow the prompts to install. Now, once it's installed, there's a couple of add-ons and dependencies that need to be installed, so just allow those. Cody will also force close and will need to be restarted, but this is perfectly normal. Just give it a few moments to settle down and you will see just how light and fast this build really is, and the amount of quality links there is for each title. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and please take a moment to subscribe and also check out some of our other guides and tutorials.